What's up, fellas? What we're looking at here is an organic weed control boiler that I'm building that has a superheater on it to bring the steam up to about 300 degrees. It also has an air augmentation blower hookup to it. It's configured in a Ventura setup so that it kind of pulls a slight vacuum. And we're gonna be um, hooking a float valve up to this thing so that the level of water inside of it stays continuous and we don't burn up the side of the beer keg because we can't scald the sides of this tank. So this float valve right here is gonna be essential to making this thing work the way we want it to. So you don't have to stop and keep filling it up. Got some rotation going here. Nothing really to look at. That looks like one right there about to drop. Yep. Alright fellas, we're still fighting the weather here. We got winds blasting. This will be a good chance to test wind conditions. That's a pretty good flow of water. Okay, the fuel pump is on. We're ready to go. I'm ready. All right, so in this first test here, I just want to see if the thing works. I'm not worried about flow rates of air and fuel consumption and all that. Just want to get this thing fired up and see what it'll do. I've been trying to run this test for three days. I've been getting rained on every day, and it's just time to check this out. So this is the first test burner we're going to use. Down there is the superheater. A lot of hot air blasting out of that exhaust, heating up that air and steam pipe at the same time. That air pipe is configured in a Ventura configuration. The handle's not hot. Definitely going to get some steam coming out of this thing. I'd say we can kill some weeds with that. This is about uh, 20 minutes in from a cold start. This water was 50 degrees. And we have brought it to a rolling boil. This was a different section of the test. so. I just wanted to see how long it took to get it this hot. And it was 20 minutes from a cold start. And uh, this thing's putting out some pretty good steam. The reason why I added the air blower augmentation was because I knew we would get a lot more power out of the machine by mixing steam with hot air. Um, this would improve the effectiveness. Yeah, I just know for a fact that hot air can kill weeds just as well as steam can. So I felt like we'd get a lot more power out of this device. Now, you can see here, we're really screaming hot. A regular boiler can't do this without a superheater on it, even though we're running at atmospheric pressure. Um, this is not a pressurized boiler, and we're still hitting some astronomical steam pressures, in my opinion, for a setup like this. So I lucked That's out. Nice. The heat exchange is the perfect size. I got lucky there. I kind of was just going off past experience. It comes to find out we're boiling about a liter a minute, guys. So we're bringing a liter a minute from boiling to uh, 300 degrees, which is uh, pretty substantial. There was no water spraying out of that exhaust pipe. That is some pure blasting hot steam right there. And this thing is uh, definitely screaming hot. We can adjust the temperature in several ways and I'll discuss that in a little bit, but uh, for the most part, this thing's doing very well. There's a look down inside the superheater area. That's where our exhaust port is also. This thing's got a real good issue to it. It's windy outside, so the, the flow pattern of the steam is not natural. We're not getting a natural look here. I'm gonna turn this blower down. We'll, we'll have a look at what happens. That's with the blower on full power right there. That is a lot of air. This is a three-stage compressor that I'm using on this thing. So you're looking at an extreme amount of air there. I'm going to turn it back down and we'll take a look at the difference. I think having it set at about 25% power is optimum. It's the best of both worlds. 
it puts out a lot more than it would with just steam alone which is important like I said we want to augment the steam with hot air for a lot of reasons we don't have to have as big of a boiler and everything and we're able to use a lot more of this waste heat this way also I just wish it wasn't windy out so we could uh, see what this thing could really do I'm, I'm getting blown all in the weird directions and it would just be nice to see a natural spray of this thing so I just pulled this weed out of the ground we'll do a quick weed uh, test so we can show you the thrust coming out of this thing as you can see the thrust is substantial I'm not holding the whole plant in there just the side of it but it, uh, it's got a really good blow to it there that's with the whole plant stuffed in there it's too hot to get my hands right here for too long so it's the best I can do that thing's pretty much dead I'm pretty sure this is going to wilt these things up and kill them right quick especially if you can get a good spray on it that thing's pretty much a goner it would never come back from that it's just too hot to stand right there by the boiler here's a look from the GoPro as I'm doing that as you can see there's a, a really good thrust the camera isn't doing it much justice it's about twice that thrust the frame rate may be affecting the velocity of the flapping leaves they give you the false impression of the true velocity of the steam coming out of this thing it's blowing out of there about like uh, half power on a vacuum cleaner blower I mean look at that guys that's a one inch bore that's a pretty good amount of steam blasting out of there and we're at 300 degrees plus by the time it goes through that steam hose it's probably going to cool down just a little bit so don't worry about that too much and I do want to show you one thing about temperature we were worried about melting the plastic so I do a little test for you here Eric now see how I got my hand in the steam right here it feels nice and warm by the time I get right here it's about as hot as I can bear I can't go much closer than that without it starting to burn so the way we can adjust temperature on this thing is simply by holding the wand closer or further away based on whether or not there is that plastic present okay we started off with 10 liters of water in the bucket we've been running for 15 minutes and we used up all of that probably still boiling in here oh yeah it's a rolling boil still so essentially I could get my hand about right here before it became unbearable the steam becomes entrained with the surrounding air and it cools it off pretty quick but close up it's too hot to be right here so I wasn't able to get this thing sprayed good enough having that air blower on there is helping this out tremendously it's it's giving us hot air and steam combined which I think was a good move we were running at about 300 degrees on the steam it was flopping around from 250 to 350 but by the time it runs through a big long eight foot hose we're gonna be okay so you can see we have the same amount of water that we started with in the boiler you can see where the water or the steam exits right there it exits into these superheater tubes that we're heating with the exhaust We initially discussed using two burners to do this, but I decided that that was just not going to be possible because this is, has to be a remote system. We ain't going to have the power to run two air compressors. Um, this test was just to see what this thing can do with as much air as we need. Tomorrow we're going to test the flow rates and all that stuff, and we're going to hook it up to the compressor that we have designated for this job to see what the max capacity of that air compressor is because it might not be able to run that burner at the full output this is just a test burner i wanted to see if this style burner would work for this to see if it was wind resistant enough and i'd say we're good to go